so or a couple of seconds just so everybody can see me and hear me same game as always it's always a little bit awkward to start because i never know when you guys can see me and hear me so please let me know in the comments as soon as i am visible on your computer screen or phone screen i think it should work now waiting for the comments to come in now we can see you all right uh, so thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, it's your favorite thought criminal coming to you from the dungeon or the cardboard cardboard box that is my small flat. Um, <clears throat> as you can see in the title, something happened. <laughs> That's why I'm referring to myself as the thought criminal. Um, I think I should start this live stream though, uh, considering the current situation, the whole social media purge, I think Google and Facebook are not very friendly towards uh, anyone who is remotely conservative or libertarian, which is what I am. Hello, introducing myself, I am a libertarian. Uh, so what I should do is I'm going to um, start this live stream by saying of course all of the information that i'm going to provide in this live stream is all alleged information and for entertainment purposes only i am not inciting any violence any hatred or anything like that whatsoever uh, so please be kind to everyone especially your family and your cat as well um so let's start why were you banned um I am not completely banned, luckily. I am innocent enough <laughs> in that I do not have a criminal record on Twitter yet. And uh, now I do. Um, because I made a tweet and I knew that this was going to happen. I had a feeling that this was going to happen precisely because uh, it was about the current Twitter perch with regards to the, the events that happened in the Capitol. Um, we all know what, what happened. Um, there were rioters, apparently, um, allegedly Trump supporters who were um, rioting in the Capitol and tried to take over, essentially, a very um, libertarian act. But uh, this resulted in violence. And so um, mainstream media, big tech, is now claiming that this is all Trump's fault because those rioters represent the Republican movement which I believe is completely ridiculous. First of all, let's compare that to Antifa, for example, and Black Lives Matter. Um, were they ever criticized by um, the left, by the, the left elite, uh, Joe Biden, for example? Did they ever denounce their followers, their supporters, uh, and, the, and condemn the violence? I do not think so. Um, so to put them in the same box, Donald Trump, and any rioters, whether they were uh, Trump supporters in the first place or not, to me is quite unfair, to be honest. Hi, Martin. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Five euros. That was, yes, be kind to your cat. Cats are the true rulers. Indeed. Um, cats always make the rules. If you have cats, then you will know that uh, a cat's favorite activity is to take over the house and uh, basically treat you like um, like they are your god and you are their slave. <laughs> but uh, in a very kind way also. Y you always get something back from your cat, uh, usually a hug. So I'm going to start now and uh, explain to you what happened on Twitter, why I was banned. I'm not completely banned. Um, fortunately, I am only um basically shadow banned i'm not allowed to post anything i cannot comment on anything i cannot leave any likes the only thing i can do is look at posts and um send direct messages that's it and this will remain i will remain in this shadow banned state for uh in total 12 hours so it's not that bad um but of course this one post was attacked that i posted so let me finally find it uh, of course i uh, took a screenshot and before this happened when I posted this post I had a feeling that, that this was going to happen and on my German telegram account um, which if you are German then please follow me on telegram and there are links for all my social media down below in the description and I'm also on parlor now of course um, but I I forgot to put that in this in the description I will 
do that though. Um, and I will post the link to my parlor as well in the maybe in the live chat. Um, thank you for another super chat. At least we were gonna see we are gonna see the truth. Best regards. Thank you so much, Sunflow Stream, for the five euros. I'm learning German and your telegram is very helpful. I love that. Yeah, I, I had many um of you international followers telling me that you follow me on my telegram uh, even though it's only german content because you want to learn a little bit of german and usually the stuff that i post is very often um in english and then i translate it for my german followers so um even if you're english maybe you want to check out the app telegram because i think at the moment it is my favorite app it's censorship free i think it's amazing maybe you will find some other content creators there uh, who do speak english as well so that is my recommendation. I keep talking about other things. Um, <clears throat> cause I'm... So there we go. I'm going to read the tweet now. Um, Trump accepted the transition despite widespread fraud, uh, which is the first thing where I went wrong, because widespread fraud is one of the terms that you're not allowed to use. Um, the same rules are for apply to YouTube. So like I said, Everything I say is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm just um, <clears throat> reciting the street and um, yeah, alleged information, all of that. Don't ban me, please. Trump accepted the transition despite widespread fraud, denounced the rioters despite them not representing the MAGA movement. Yet the purge happened. When will we learn we cannot win unless we fight? And I put the last sentence in all caps. So what did I say? We cannot win unless we fight and fight obviously is a bit um, direct and uh, you might take that as inciting violence if you really uh, want to reach very far. It's a stretch, but it's it's a good one um, in the current situation that we're in. Obviously, um, Twitter took the opportunity and told me that I must remove this tweet. Um, unless I want to submit an, an appeal, but honestly, um, I would because I do not think that I was inciting violence and I made that clear. Now, let me get to this actually, because I did make that clear. Right after I posted that tweet, I made a second tweet and I said, Twitter will attempt to claim that this can be interpreted as the promotion of violence. No, I mean fight as in stand your ground. Do not concede in fear of censorship. Lying is immoral, stay true to yourself. And this tweet is still up on my Twitter. So you can find it and you can see the old tweet as well. Uh, but I had to remove it. And I removed it just because I'm scared that they will yeet me off Twitter completely. <laughs> um, so I am now banned or uh, we've temporarily limited some of your account features. What happened? We have determined that you have violated the Twitter rules. Check out the Twitter rules here. So we've temporarily limited some of your account features. While in this state, you can still browse Twitter, but you're limited to only sending direct messages to your followers. No tweets, retweets or likes. Your account will be restored to full functionality in 12 hours. Um, so that should be at around 5 a.m. in Germany. You know, I am often up at uh, non-human times, kind of the vampire times. Uh, so it's very possible that I will be up at 5 p.m. Uh, 5 a.m. in Germany and um, come back on Twitter just to release that I'm back from a Twitter prison again, back from the dungeon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so let me get to your comments now. And I think I also got two more super chats. I'm sorry if I missed one. Um, and thank you for the $10. Uh, Isidoros, hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Dungeon Master, back from jail. Hello from Belgium. That's nice. Hello back to Belgium. And hi, Michael. Uh, Michael is my moderator and one of my closest friends, followers. Uh, yeah, they said the same thing to me about removing a comment. I'll be keeping it up at least until the 20th. Then we'll see. It's why I'm not on, on there. Sorry. Oh, that's completely fine. I know that many of us are leaving Twitter now. Uh, like I said, I let me just uh, get my Parler link and then I will post it in the live chat. Then you can go straight to Parler and follow me there. Give me a couple of seconds. 
I posted it on Telegram, so if you follow me on Telegram, then you will find my parlor there. And like I said, I will put it in the description. I just forgot before I started the stream. There, I got it. Okay, if you're in the live chat right now, I will post uh, the link to one of my parlor um, tweets, posts. There you go. Um, did you also see that Jack Dorsey, the CEO, um, um, I don't know, the man who runs Twitter, <laughs> he posted this super passive aggressive um, screenshot of the, the current ranking in the Apple App Store. Because um, before this whole purge thing happened, Parler was the number one app in the App Store. And now it was removed both from the Apple App Store and I think also from the Amazon App Store, I think. And um, so what he did, he, he, he took a screenshot of the App Store right now and you can no longer see Parler there anymore. It used to be on, in, in first place. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who's following me on Parler right now. And um, then he, he just added as a comment a heart emoji just to show um, his support for the current ranking, which no longer shows Parler, which I think is disgusting because obviously Parler is his competition and you shouldn't do that to your competition. I think it's just, it's very low level. It's, yeah, it's disgusting. I would never do that. Of course, I fully support capitalist free market competition. Let them all have their own, own platforms. That's fantastic. But if you do not even as a platform creator have access to the market because it is not possible to download the app in the first place, there is no free competition. We do not have a free market. Uh, somebody asked, is Parler a Twitter alternative? Yeah, it's basically the same thing, just without the censorship. <laughs> Yep, I love the ranking too, because Twitter is not in the top three. Uh, exactly. Uh, the first, <coughs> the, the one, number one stop uh, spot is now taken by Signal. And Signal is also an alternative um, social media app. I think it's only used for private con conversations, though. So I think it's more like WhatsApp. It's an alternative to WhatsApp. Um, I do have Signal as well. So um, I guess it's okay. <laughs> it's safer. But uh, like I said, my favorite app is Telegram at the moment because you can post anything there. You can use it like a WhatsApp chat and you can also, if you have a channel, uh, you can make blog posts, you can write long um, blog posts and uh, you can post videos, make voice messages just if you're on the go. Uh, it's very simple. And uh, please also follow me on Instagram. I know, I know Instagram is such a narcissistic and boring app. I underestimated Instagram. I think it's really fun now because you can post stories on Instagram and that means that you can just quickly um, film yourself, ask your, or let your followers ask you questions, um, talk about whatever you want, basically. Uh, and I think... Hi, am I back? Am I back? I think I was just gone for a second. Can you see me again? Just let me know very quickly uh, if you can see me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sorry. Um, the Wi-Fi is really bad at the moment, unfortunately. I don't know why. Um, I think I fixed it. <laughs> okay, good. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. It should work now, though. So I apologize. We should be back now. Okay, let me see if there are any other questions that I can answer. We have not had a free market for years, but it's shifting really fast now. Yes, yeah, because now they can abuse this crisis, basically. This crisis of um, the whole lockdown situation. And uh, that is exactly why I think there's a huge incentive behind the lockdown. And that is very dangerous because they're going to extend it as long as possible. Thank you very much, uh, the civic nationalist for the five pounds. How you control everyone. You put people in one place and others in another. Listen to No Lives Matter really makes you think, God save the queen. <laughs> yes, God save the queen. And um, 
Is No Lives Matter um, a podcast or a channel or something like that? I will look it up. Thank you. And yeah, that's true. That's the whole divide and conquer tactic. Um, they do the same thing with, with Black Lives Matter and um, with race baiting. It's, it's really, it's, it's horrible. It's disgusting. And remember when the mainstream media wanted to declare me an anti-Semite, which I do not have anything to, to do with anti-Semitism. I never claimed that there was some kind of, I don't know, anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, uh, conspiracy in the world, or I, I, why would I have anything against Jews? I have Jewish friends and um, something really amazing that happened when I was um, in the US at the beginning of this year was there was one uh, Jewish follower who really stood up for me um, when The Guardian approached me and asked me um, if I was if I was a Holocaust denier, which imagine that. Imagine someone coming up to you and asking you, are you a Holocaust denier? When did I ever give you a reason to believe that? It's just so disrespectful. I think I just saw Jose Gonzalez in the chat. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. And I, um, I, hi, yes, you are there. He's also one of my mods and I haven't spoken to him in such a long time. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know that you sent me a message both on Instagram and on my WhatsApp, I think. And I put it on my to-do list to respond to you. I still haven't though. And I'm, I just kept hoping that you don't think I'm neglecting you or I'm no longer want to be friends with you. So I'm, I'm totally going to respond to your message. It's just, it's been a really hectic time, especially just before Christmas. Um, yeah, but we're all good now. Why does Twitter not ban Samuel Eckert? Maybe because he's controlled opposition? No, um, Samuel Eckert is one of my absolute closest friends and he sees through a lot. He knows a lot more than he talks about. Um, I had some private conversations with him about he knows the ties of the Vatican in the whole globalism thing. Um, let's not get too specific because of censorship. And um, yeah, he, he's, he has done a lot of research for a decade, I would say, maybe more. And uh, yeah, Samuel Eckert, the reason he doesn't get banned on Twitter is because he's not that controversial on Twitter. He's not that big on Twitter either. It's just not his platform. So that's why. It's not because he, um, it's not because he's controlled opposition. Really not. Um, yeah, you need to be very careful with a lot of people on YouTube in the influencer sphere. There are many people whom I would um, consider controlled opposition, unfortunately. Many people who you might look up to as well um, and who I used to look up to. Um, but yeah, many disappointments uh, in my journey. Uh, but also many people who turned out to be even nicer and even more amazing than I thought. Um, so um, yeah, what happened to my Twitter? It's not completely deleted. Uh, I will be back on Twitter um, in, I don't know, maybe uh, seven hours now. Um, but I'm not completely gone uh, beca because I'm fortunate that I, I'm innocent enough. <laughs> uh, I don't have a huge criminal record on Twitter yet. Uh, but this was my first, I guess you could call it my first strike. Uh, if you watch the live stream back, I explained the whole situation. I will probably also upload um, the screenshots of what they tried to, or what they banned, what which tweet I had to remove. I will post them in my Instagram story. So a reminder to you again, uh, follow me on Instagram because I will post some more stories in the future. I do more uh, like live stories, respond to your questions. Uh, we did a whole thing of... Um, um, post your assumptions about me and I will respond to them and many people seem to enjoy that. I didn't think so at first because I thought uh, that's kind of narcissistic. Why would you be interested in me? I'm more of an, uh, an activist for certain topics, uh, the COVID topic and uh, climate change and other political stuff. Uh, why would you be interested in me as a person? But apparently many of you are and that's very uh, flattering to be honest. Um, <laughs> Wann bist du mal wieder in Deutschland? Ich bin in Deutschland. Ähm, Gerade ist nur Lockdown. Äh, deswegen kann ich nicht großartig rumreisen oder irgendwie öffentliche Veranstaltungen machen. Can you do an OnlyFans? Uh, I thought we were done with this question. Ja, <lacht> um, yeah, I, I... Honestly, 
now with the whole Twitter purge and social media purge, and I don't know, it's just a matter of time until they throw me um, off of YouTube as well, I think, uh, unfortunately, but I will try to stay here as long as possible. I'm going down with this ship. I, I'm not going to delete my Twitter on my own. Uh, I'm going to sink with the ship, and um, if they want to ban me, then go right ahead. Um, but the question about the OnlyFans, I mean, why not? I'm not going to post anything <laughs> that you might consider uh, entertaining <laughs> for an OnlyFans, uh, so don't get your hopes up there. Uh, but maybe, maybe that would be an interesting way to post uncensored information uncensored, not in the way that is usually appropriate for OnlyFans, but I mean more in the political way, um, that you can't get access to on YouTube, for example. That would be an interesting idea. So who knows, maybe I'll start an OnlyFans. <laughs> I was so against this idea, but yeah. Or maybe I will just start an OnlyFans for my ice cream machine so all of you uh, thirsty people can, <laughs> or hungry people, can uh, get some insights into my ice cream crea creations. Or maybe for my cat or something like that. Are you going to use YouTube alternatives? Thank you so much, uh, that Dutch guy, for the two euros. Um, yes, definitely. I want to um, start using alternatives. But the big problem is I have a very diverse audience. Um, some of you, or maybe half of you, are, are Germans. And the other half is international from all over the place we know that we have many brazilians in the chat hello to brazil once again obviously um so please suggest um the best streaming or youtube alternative that you know of uh please post it in the comments not in the live chat please go down below under the video and post a comment which one of the youtube alternative platforms do you think are the best ones uh, in Germany, I think what is very popular is D-Life. I also know about Rumble. Um, let me know what else. I am I am tending towards D-Life because Samuel Eckert is also on D-Life and he's quite successful there. So I think it would be an op a good opportunity to um, get in touch with him and maybe do something with him and then he can leave a link to, an, to uh, my own channel. And so that would be easier to get started there. Thank you for the 10 euros um, from John aus, uh, no, not John, J oder J aus Op. Thank you very much. Oder danke schön. Danke, wenn ich uh, schon eine deutsche Spende bekomme. <laughs> and thank you, speak your mind. I like your name. Uh, also very interesting profile picture. What is that? Is that planet Earth? I think so. Thank you for the 449 uh, Australian dollars, I think. What platform apart from Telegram do you use? Uh, currently, like I said, I am still on YouTube, obviously. And um, uh, Parler, I just posted the link. Let me just post it again. I will also put it in the description after the stream. I forgot. Uh, but if you, are, if you want to know which platforms I'm on, just go down in the description. Thank you, Michael. Um, I will also post it again. There you go. Um... Yeah, if you go down in the descri description under this video, um, you will see all the platforms that I'm on right now. It's mostly mainstream. I'm totally basic. Yeah, basic. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, YouTube, Twitter. Right now I'm banned on Twitter, but only until tomorrow morning, so we're good. Um, Instagram. I'm posting more stories on Instagram now, so... Um, that means you can see more like live or YouTube kind of ish content on Instagram as well. I would probably, I want to, this is my goal. I want to post daily on Instagram. I want to kind of expand my Instagram and um, maybe post a few th short thoughts video, sh short thought videos um, in my stories on Instagram. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and follow me there. Thank you very much. Um, Canada B. Oh, so that's Canadian dollars. A 10 Canadian dollars. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And another super chat from Sidu. That is that a dog? Yes, that appears to be a dog uh, in your profile picture. Thank you so much for the 9.99. Thank you for your strength and and, pres and preservation. Thank you very much. You probably meant 
the noun for persevere, uh, I'm not sure, preservation is probably, probably meant a different word there, but thank you very much for the comment, that is very kind. Trump was the best US president, he was definitely the most unique one, and the best alternative, the best opposition, we needed an opposition. Uh, but don't lose hope yes, just yet. Uh, Lynn Wood, who is very active on Parler right now, he's totally banned on Twitter as well, obviously. Um, he said that he had a lot of sensitive information that is going to be re released very soon. And you, you have to ask yourself, why did this whole social media purge happen now, just before the inauguration? And did you read... Um, Twitter's reasoning that they gave for why they banned Trump. The reasons they provided were, first of all, he said on Twitter that he was not going to attend um, Joe Biden's inauguration. And they claimed that this suggests that he incites violence at the inauguration because he does not want to attend it. That's a very far stretch. The second reason they gave was that he appealed to the American patriots because he used the term American patriots. Apparently, that means that he's suggesting that American patriots are the rioters and that he's supporting the rioters. American patriots. Is that now a synonym for violent rioter? So obviously, it's just an excuse. I think I got three super chats, so let me get back to them and just respond to them. Thank you for your work. We need more people like you, Brazil here. We always love a Brazilian comment. So um, thank you very much, Gustavo Ribas. Ribas, <laughs> hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you, Martin, again. Thank you always for um, yeah being in pretty much every single one of my live streams. Um, can't we have a chat where we can donate Dodge coin coins without the 30% Google fee? Um, I think there's something like Streamlabs. I don't know if they also take a certain fee. If you want to donate, uh, if you leave, want to leave um, one-time donations, do so on my PayPal, which is also always in the description down below. I also put my bank account information there so you can also send me an invoice if you want. Um, many people do that, especially Germans. They usually don't want to use um, stuff like PayPal or the American um, international uh, online um, banking systems. Uh, they are very much against that. And uh, my Patreon is also in the description. So if you want to support me there, then you can do that. And if you still have a question, for example, then just leave a small donation here in a super chat, like a two euro, euro donation, and I will still respond. And then you can still give me a PayPal donation if you want. And um, I will obviously respond to your question. And you can also, if you send me um, a PayPal donation, you can also leave a question or a comment there as well. That is possible. And then I will try to respond to that um, in an email. Hi, Naomi. Keep up the good work. From Brazil. Another one from Brazil. Why do I still have so many followers from Brazil? I mean, I, I appreciate that so much. Thank you very much. And a donation, a lead, 10 euros. May God preserve your stamina. That is so kind. Thank you very much and bless you. And another donation, Torben, Torben Rebild. Butchering names again. Thank you very much. And very interesting profile picture. Is that like a cartoon of yourself? You can also try Minds. What is Minds? Is that, uh, let me look it up. Is it like another platform? Wi-Fi is very slow again. Ah, I see. Okay, thank you. I will check it out. Thanks very much. <laughs> Mine's like Facebook. Okay. As long as you see Biden as the enemy, you are fooled. You put that very well, Martin, because the real enemy... Biden is, Biden is just a puppet. And... Um, He's not to be taken seriously. We all know that, and he's not going to be president. We know he's going to be president. It's either Kamala or whoever else is going to be in charge. But he is he is merely a puppet. They deliberately chose someone who is basically demented, basically out of this world. Um, yeah. 
Oh, I think I just got a PayPal donation from probably someone, one of you in the chat. Thank you. That is very generous. Thank you very much. And thank you both for the $5. They did not leave any questions, but thank you nonetheless. Willst du auch mal etwas studieren? Bei deinem guten Abi könntest du alles studieren, zum Beispiel auch Medizin. Ähm, ich habe es versucht. Ich habe es versucht. Ich äh, habe versucht, Wirtschaft zu studieren und ich fand es furchtbar, dieses einfach das ganze System, die anderen Studenten. Ich habe nicht eine Freundschaft dort geschlossen, außer die Leute, mit denen ich zusammen gewohnt habe. Die waren aber älter als ich, mit denen habe ich nicht gemeinsam studiert. Ähm, einer von ihnen, ist, mit dem habe ich heute noch telefoniert, ist einer meiner besten Freunde, aber äh, innerhalb der Uni war ich komplett lost. Ähm, also nein, dann habe ich versucht, ein Online-Studium zu betreiben. Äh, und auch das war einfach, muss ich ehrlich sagen, unter meinem Niveau. If you are banned, why can I still see you on Twitter? Because I'm basically only a shadow banned. So uh, I'm not completely yeeted off Twitter, um, fortunately, yet. Uh, but I, I can't interact with you, I can't post anything, I can't like anything, I can only send direct messages and browse through Twitter. So yeah, you can still support me on Twitter, basically. Viele liebe Grüße von Seattle, immer weiter. Dankeschön, Baron of Grey Matter. Thank you for the two dollars. Finde ich ja schön, dass da jemand mit deutscher Sprache aber in Seattle ist. Oh, Shadowband, yeah, that's what happened to me and then I just deleted the account. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to sync with this ship and I'm going to preserve my account for as long as possible. And uh, I'm going to keep my, my tweets spicy. <laughs> I'm not going to reduce my level of sarcasm and honesty, um, especially honesty and integrity. I'm not going to sacrifice that if they want to ban me, then go ahead. Ihre Mutter muss mächtig stolz auf sie sein. Das ist so lieb. Vielen Dank. Um, ich glaube, das ist sie auch. Ja, und ich liebe meine Mutter ebenfalls. Ich habe so viel von ihr gelernt. Ich habe eine fantastische Mutter. Wirklich. Thank you very much, Pluvio, Plavio. Thank you very much for the $25. That is so kind. Please don't forget, if you have any questions, if you want to leave any comments that you definitely want, to, want me to respond to and you leave a super chat, then go ahead. <laughs> Gruß aus NRW, Espelkamp. Herzlichen Dank. Grüße zurück. You should put your parlor, mines, gap, etc. on the stream overlay. Uh, could you tell me what really is gap? Because I heard there's a rumor going around that Trump wants to basically take over gap and wants to start a gap account. Who knows? Um, but it's just a rumor. Um, so I, I don't know what gap really is. Is it like Twitter? I only know parlor at this point and telegram. My heart um, is in Telegram. Thank you for another donation, that Dutch guy. Uh, five euros again. On a total side note, and at the risk of sounding like a simp, you look mesmerizingly pretty today. You do not sound like a simp, and I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. That is very respectful. Uh, a simp comment would be, uh, I guess, more maybe condescending would be the right term. No, I really appreciate that. And feminists are the ones who, who are claiming um, that any compliment that you give a woman is, uh, I don't know, is anti-feminist or is a bad thing or maybe depreciates women in some way. How does a com compliment depreciate a woman? Isn't that kind of an oxymoron? So uh, anyway, no, I really appreciate all of your compliments and I do not take them as um, disrespectful in any way. No, it's really nice. Say hi to Brazil. I already said hi to Brazil many times in this live stream, but I will say hi to Brazil again. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Peter Vonk, for the 149 and the unicorn emoji. I always love those emojis that you post with your super chats. They're so versatile. <laughs> and thank you very much, uh, Hayden, for the $50. If the US ends up in a second domestic conflict, What do you think will be the global actions taken by places like the UK, Germany, and even China? Greetings from t Texas, and thanks for everything you do. My love goes out to Texas. I, I would love to see Texas one day. Right now, that's impossible because of lockdown anyway, but that's a very interesting question. Um, that obviously depends on the side that you're on. 
and the side that the domestic conflict comes from. So if you're talking about something like the rights in the capital, um, Germany already, <laughs> you know we hate, not we, as in uh, me included, but uh, the German government hates Trump and the US. If something like that happens again, you know what? We are heading towards globalism. We are heading towards a globalist government, call it the new great new reset new world order, whatever you want to call it. They are using the new world order term now anyway. So come on, it's not a conspiracy theory. I'm allowed to say that. Don't throw me off the platform because I say new world order. I'm not implying any conspiracy here. I'm just saying, I'm saying what it is. The great new reset, the new normal, that is, is what it is. So um, governments, elites, uh, of all nations are going to work together. It's no longer one country against another country. It's no longer nations against each other. It's the people, it's the, the people who strive for freedom, us, against the people who want to oppress us. So if something like a domestic conflict happens again, then the people who want to oppress us, the people in power, are going to unite globally and they are going to do their best to oppress us even more they are going to censor free speech even more and you think it can't get worse it can always get worse and that is something that i learned in 2020 for my personal life and for what is going on globally it can always get worse and so please always whatever may happen appreciate the place you are in Appreciate that you have a family, that you have friends. Appreciate the freedoms that you have because you can lose them. And you always have to fight for them. And that, no, that does not mean I'm inciting violence. That means stand your ground and stay active and be honest in your private conversations. When I say fight, I say when you speak to your friends and family, be genuine, be authentic and do not shut up when you have something to say that is right and honest and and good and moral. And if you see injustice being done somewhere, then you have a responsibility to fight. Yeah, I'm not inciting violence. I think I got another smaller super chat that I may have missed. Peter Vonk again, 199. Thank you very much. And a very sweet heart that says thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. That might might get you thrown off the platform. It's a woman now. Or a man and a woman. And a non-binary as well. So I think this a man, a woman thing was actually quite um, discriminatory towards people who do not identify as either or. Right? Right. Was würdest du tun, wenn Knuddeln verboten wird? What would you do if hugging was no longer allowed? I would still hug my family. I am very big on hugging. I am a huge hugger. I, I hug everyone who is close to me. Um, I'm the kind of person, I, I'm, I'm very sensitive to touch, basically. You probably know about this five la love languages concept. My love language is, is touch. And um, I very much appreciate a genuine hug but i also am very terrified of hugging the wrong people so yeah touching someone that sounds wrong but you know what i mean um in every sense of the word even just giving a handshake is very personal to me so i would still hug my family and friends thank you very much for the super chat uh, fernando kusunoha i've seen you before in my live streams you also have a very interesting profile picture look for uh, Agustin Laie, it is unfortunate you don't speak Spanish, but basically he's against this evil agenda. I highly recommend him 100%. Okay, I totally will. Uh, let me copy that and um, maybe I can find a translation or maybe I do have some um, Spanish speaking friends and followers who might help me with the translation if there's something that is really interesting. Let me just type it into Google so don't forget to check it out after this live stream. Okay, I got him. Thank you very much. Love can never be forbidden. Exactly. And even if they want to take all of our freedoms to 
engage in physical contact away, love can never be forbidden. Love comes from the heart. No, that, that sounds very cheesy and corny, but um, really I have a lot of friendships all over the world. <clears throat> my very best friend, um, basically most of my closest friends are not here with me and I can't meet them right now and um, they live quite far away and a virtual hug sometimes does the trick too, yeah. And I don't think that she sees this live stream because interesting fun fact for you. Um, I'm going to say something about my best friend now because I've been friends with her for over six, seven years and I've never seen her in real life. She's a complete online friendship, but she lives in Germany and she has supported me from the very start, even though politically we do not agree on many things. And I think I've shifted her mind on some things, but mostly she just respects me as a person and she sees when injustices are being done to me, like censorship. And I showed her that I was banned on Twitter, for example, and she got angry. And because she is an advocate for free speech, even though politically she disagrees with me on many things. And so if she ever sees this, maybe I will show her a clip of this. My heart goes out to you because she supported me in everything when I was at my worst with my health and she is so down to earth and yeah you need to fr find friends like that that's very rare to find thank you Exa Exaratas, Exaratas uh, for the five euros full support from the black forest oh I love the black forest I was the ones and a heart I'm happy to see you looking healthy. Thank you very much. I'm actually feeling way better at the moment. Um, yeah, it's a, a rare sight. <laughs> no, I, I have just struggled so much uh, over the last months and in 2020, but now I'm, I am currently feeling a lot better, still going to through some diagnoses, but we will get there. <laughs> Sunflow stream, thank you very much for the five euros. One can only see clearly with a heart. The essentials are always invisible to the eyes. I like that very much. Thank you. And thank you for the $10, Sylvan Ford. I have also seen you before. And another one of those stickers. Is this a fox or a dog? I'm going to say it's a fox. I still don't know. And it says thank you. So that's really cute. Thank you. Ich habe das Buch 1984 jetzt schon dreimal gelesen und komme zu dem Schluss, dass unsere Regierung dies als Handlungsanweisung versteht. Es wird noch viel, viel schlimmer. Schöne Formulierung, daraus könntest du einen Tweet machen. Ne, gefällt mir wirklich. Äh, ja, leider. Woher kannst du so gut Englisch? Ähm, Mittelstufe. Äh, in der Mittelstufe, keine Ahnung, ich habe einfach angefangen, viele englische Bücher zu lesen, habe mich total in die englische Sprache verliebt und äh, auch viel Shakespeare gelesen. Das heißt, das ist natürlich noch mal schwieriger. Ähm, und dadurch musste ich mich mehr anstrengen, um nicht nur die normale englische Sprache zu verstehen, sondern dann das noch mal übersetzen in das alte Englisch und wieder zurück übersetzen. Dann habe ich mit meiner damaligen besten Freundin permanent ähm, auf Telegram tatsächlich gechattet, ausschließlich in englischer Sprache. Das hat mir wahnsinnig geholfen. Ähm, ich schreibe immer noch mit vielen Leuten eben heute einfach in englischer Sprache. Das heißt, es ist inzwischen auch meine normale Alltagssprache geworden. Äh, und viele Filme habe ich gesehen. Sherlock war ich obsessed äh, mit in der Mittelstufe und Oberstufe. Genau. Thank you, Peter Wonk, again, <laughs> with the thumbs up sticker. Thank you for the 199. And Gatekeeper201, thank you for your honesty and authenticity. Hope you're able to get better soon. Uh, those are really my primary, primary values apart from uh, take, taking responsibility for myself and my actions and um, yeah, striving, fighting for freedom, not inciting violence. <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much. I, I, I always appreciate it when people see, um, recognize what my primary values are and what I'm really here for. <laughs> So thank you. Are you on Telegram? Yes, I already spoke about this several times. Um, mostly German though. So yeah, check out the description for links to my other social media. Thank you, John ben Bernstein for the $10.
Hi, Thomas B. Another one of my moderators joined the chat. That's nice to see so many moderators today. He's also one of my, my faves. <laughs> Um, not sponsored. Hi, Michael Swatsch. Ich, um, I, I keep probably butchering your name. I'm very sorry, sorry about that. Um, I, I also, I'm very bad with names. So if you tell me once how to pronounce your name, I'm probably going to forget about it. I'm also very bad at remembering birthdays. I need to remember someone's birthday on Thursday and I hope I don't forget because he's a very close friend. Yeah. Pray for me. Hi Naomi, we had quite hilarious demonstration against COVID restrictions today in Prague and we are determined to reopen Cheshire. Everybody must finally understand whole COVID stuff is about power. Kudos to you. Yeah, really. Um, that, that's amazing that you're doing the work. I'm, I'm very proud of you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, not for the donation, not just for the donation, but thank you for um, standing up for yourself and for what you not only believe in, but for what you know is right. Thank you very much. Normi Royal, thank you. Greetings from Norway. Greetings go back to you from Germany. <laughs> Where is the merchandise? We need it. Thanks for reminding me. That is a really good idea. I have been wanting to make merchandise for a while. And okay, now for the live stream elite, I'm going to let you in on a secret because I already know um, what I want to put on, on it. Well, not, not really des the design, but I know what uh, sentence I want to put on it. I know my main sentence has always been, I don't want you to panic, I want you to think, and I still stand by that. But I also want to get away from this um, anti-Greta uh, image <laughs> character that I've been made into, because I'm more than that. <laughs> So the sentence that I want to put on the merch is um, panic will persist until we resist. And that is something that I came up with at 4 a.m. at some point in October, I think. And ever since then, I've wanted to make merch with it and I just forgot. So copyrighted right now by me. <laughs> panic will persist until we resist. And that will be my merch. Um, but I'm just hoping that um, no merchandise store will, will ban me. Because that happened to Sagan of a card, for example, unfortunately. But I think I think that is a sentence that is all right. Although now, Twitter, definitely, if I posted something like that on Twitter, they would definitely say I'm inciting violence. Because resistance... Even though Black Lives Matter, they also used the term resistance, right? So it should work. It should, but we know that the same rules don't apply to us and them, so... Thank you for another donation. Um, Marco Machado. Machado. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 499. And I like your profile picture too. That is interestingly lit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, some of you like the merchandise um, sentence slogan. So thank you for that. Thank you for the support. Thank you, Joel Joost. <laughs> I love your profile picture. That's a ghost, uh, for those of you who, who can't see. Sag ja zu deutschem Wasser, ja. Hello from Mississippi. You're a treasure, Naomi. I appreciate your video so much. We're fighting for our speech of uh, freedom of speech, gun rights, and to get our flag back here. Censorship running rampant. Oh, yes. <laughs> Censorship is going crazy. But to be honest, I think there's something good coming out of all of this. Because especially conservatives... They are so conservative that often they just think they can drag it out for as long as possible and it's, it's things are just going to work. They're not, their openness to, to new experiences is not, not very high. No offense, but that's just the case. Liberals are more, you know, they are actually more regressive because of all the censorship now, but their minds are more open to experience and therefore in, in some sense more progressive. So... The problem is that it takes a lot to get the Republicans down and to actually show them you need to step up now. You need to do something. And right now, I think we have hit a critical point where it's so bad and the censorship is so obvious and so ridiculous and so disgusting that now I think 
we are really going to see who is going to stand up for us and who is a traitor or a coward. And there are many conservatives. And I made a tweet about that too. And I said, the ones, the Republicans who are now going back to their, I don't know, their tiny cages and are just conceding, retracting their support for Donald Trump, they are cowards. They are traitors and they are cowards. And we who are really striving for freedom, we know what is right and we know that we are keeping our integrity and that we are not inciting violence. We are not pro, I don't know, um, rioting. We are not the rioters. Isn't that funny? Black Lives Matter and Antifa have been rioting for months and they still do. And yet we are the ones who are now charged with thought crimes because we are rioters. And our thought crimes allegedly are inciting violence. The times we live in. Thank you, Martin, again. Lol, maybe we should be more conservative and live like the Amish, but for sure with more dancing. Honestly, yes, that's totally going to happen. Donald Trump is just going to be... Um, nuked from every platform and in the end he's just going to live on on a lonely island somewhere drinking coconut juice <laughs> yeah i can totally see that and one day he's just going to be so done with everything um trevorous thank you very much for the five canadian dollars trev virus okay thanks for uh for clever frying but if i say your name i might get banned who knows <laughs> need to be very careful here. Hello from Canadian Native. Uh, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Hope you continue. I will be praying for your continued well-being. Uh, I definitely will continue to um, to go on every platform and, and, and cause a scene <laughs> as much as possible. And yeah, I do also hope that my health will keep improving and uh, we're, we're on the on the uprise. Greetings from Socialist Scotland. Thank you very much. Ethan Galvin, thank you for the four ninety nine pounds. Socialist Scotland. That's nice. Thank you very much. And another donation. Uh, Xaratas once again, five euros. BLM hat ganze Lebensgrundlagen zerstört, aber die Stürmung des Kapitols per se natürlich nicht in Ordnung wird gleich als Terrorismus deklariert. Exakt. Und jetzt mal ganz ähm, davon abgesehen, ob das ganz überhaupt so geschehen ist, äh, ob das wirklich Trump Supporter waren. Verifiziert ist das nicht, würde ich sagen, aber das wollen wir jetzt mal nicht hier zu stark äh, diskutieren. Ja, du hast eine Superchat-Anfrage übersehen. Das tut mir sehr leid. Ähm ich glaube nicht. Falls doch, weist mich bitte darauf hin. Terrorismus ist alles, was dir nicht passt. Ganz genau. Awesome work, Naomi. Greetings from the feminist utopia in the, uh, New Zealand. I'd love to interview you on my channel sometime. Uh, you can, it's very difficult right now because I get many interview requests. Um, but you can send me an email and then I will have a look at it. You'd see more violence at a Black Lives Matter protest slash riot. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have seen more violence in the streets, burning fires all over damaged businesses and nobody cares. The left are terrified of debate because they are scared of the truth, mixed up with the wisdom and knowledge from a young lady with a high IQ and they go into total meltdown. I pity them. Thank you. That's, uh, that's very flattering. And yeah, I'm just going to say thanks. <laughs> Do you like otters? What is it with the otters? Uh, I got that question last time. Uh, my favorite otter is Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's a... Du hast meinen Superchat übersehen. Da war gerade einer. Ach Gott. Moment, Moment, Moment. Muss ich jetzt wieder finden. Das tut mir wirklich leid. Uh, IKA. Oh, ich habe dich auch schon mal gesehen. Um, in meinen Livestreams. Vielen Dank dafür. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich noch... Ich weiß nicht, wo ich den jetzt noch wiederfinden kann. Okay, schick mir deine Nachricht, die du in dem Superchat geschrieben hast. Schick die nochmal. Ich werde jetzt versuchen, sie abzufangen und zu beantworten, damit du mir nicht nochmal eine Spende schicken musst. Lol, too many Superchats. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so I'm waiting for this person to post their question again, then I will respond to them. I'm keeping my eyes on the comments. 
when will the merch be ready um so hopefully soon <laughs> uh i will i will work on it as soon as possible another super chat um the current censorship for trumped up reasons pardon the pun yeah yeah that's that's really good um the person who just don't who just left a super chat that i forgot ike dao ike dao um please post your question with an at naomi zeibt then it will be highlighted um in orange and i can see it more clearly die nachricht war what do you think about russians in germany russians are awesome i have several russian friends so thank you very much uh, for the question and for the donation obviously i'm so sorry i missed out on it um yeah what should be the problem with russians <laughs> is there some russian conspiracy theory going on no really i think russians um they have a very unique character of course i'm generalizing here that's racist no um but they can be quite um on the surface ice cold but also really intelligent and always very authentic and honest that's my experience with russians at least and um i have a very close russian friend okay another donation banned you because you're white and patriotic you're not allowed to be european and preserve your own all those on the right nationalist sphere will be targeted yeah i'm pretty sure that if anyone else had made that tweet that it wouldn't have been banned did i miss another one there was another one yes you are a hero for normal people thank you lone ranger said lone ranger 22 said that and left 199 once again i like your profile picture that's a nice drawing um why normal people none of you are normal and i'm not more special than you none of you are normal because you're watching the stream you are special uh sovereign oh no i already responded to you sovereign ira ira <laughs> thank you very much once again though for the five euros and martin again martin you're going strong today <laughs> thank you for the five euros what about a cat merch cute picture from a cat with no matter what you do it's us cats that rule I can think about something like that. I don't know if my cat wants to be on a merchandise product, though. I can ask her. I will ask her for you. Read Douglas Murray's Strange Death of Europe. I have. I have read that. Douglas Murray is great. I would love to speak to him one day, if possible. What is he even doing right now? I don't know. I haven't checked him out in a while. Is he on Twitter? I don't know. I do feel a little more special since I started watching this indeed. You should. You should absolutely. No, but seriously, if you found this channel, <laughs> which is already heavily shadow banned, <laughs> then you are kind of special. You are kind of the odd one out. And I'm the odd one out. I'm a strange person um, with everything, with my views, with my age, and, and I don't know, with my gender, because it's not that common. I guess, that a young female subscribes to the opinions that I have and does activism about them. So you are special. And I guess I'm special too. And that's not to be narcissistic or anything. It's just, we are all in some way special. If you are definitely, you are anti-mainstream, all of you. You are special. Thank you very much for another donation. Um, Carbon, Carbon Dallas, 66. Thank you for the five euros. Someone said, hashtag free Assange. Yes, I need to check out how that's, uh, what's going on there. I posted about the whole um, court case on, on Telegram a couple of days ago. Once again, check out the description to follow me on all my social media that is not YouTube in case I get nuked off of YouTube. You never know. Thank you, Michael. Once again, for another donation, nobody in this stream is normal. We are all deplorables oh yes we are all deplorables i love that by the way that he took that insult and turned it around uh not 360 180 <laughs> they don't want you to have your own mind you can have your own mind just don't expose it to the public long live the strange persons so or so the most strange person is now the richest person in the solar system if you don't count the Rothschilds. Are you talking about Elon Musk? Yeah, that's true. He's, he's very strange, though. <laughs> I'm banned on Reddit and shadow banned on YouTube. It's okay. Welcome to the club. 
We like being deplorables, don't we? It keeps us together. No one is better, but all are special. Okay, now we are getting communists, right? Let's, let's not go too far. There are more moral people than others. And I think most of you belong to the elite morality crowd. <laughs> no, but I do think, um, because honesty and, and integrity are very high values of mine and should be for everyone. And all of you are freedom fighters and are very brave very courageous. I have to say that even if you're not a huge activist um, on social media, still, the fact that you, the fact that you open your mind to these opinions that are controversial, it takes a lot of courage because you might be rejected by your friends and family. That's bad enough. That's, in fact, it's even worse than being rejected by mainstream media. Why would I care about what the mainstream media says about me as long as I can keep my friends? So kudos to all of you. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Baron of Grey Matter, again for uh, two euros. Macht's gut, Naomi. Bleib gesund von Comi Seattle. <laughs> Danke sehr. Und ich wünsche dir noch einen schönen Abend. Thank you again, Hayden. Um, that's another big donation. Um, yeah, a big thank you goes out to you. It, it really helps, by the way. Um, I only support myself um, via your voluntary di donations. So um, if you feel like my work is valuable to you, then consider subscribing to my Patreon or um, leaving a one-time donation on PayPal, whatever, links in the description. No, but it, it, I really appreciate all of your help. So let me respond. How did you get started with your activism? I'm trying to find ways to fight. However, my job causes me to be pretty isolated. I've been very vocal on my Facebook and friends value my opinion, but I'm not sure how to really start to make a difference. That's my favorite question of the day, of the night. Um, how did I start? Well, uh, I started in high school. That's when I got into the soul activism thing or politics in the first place. And back then I was not an activist. I was not popular or anything. And I went to a very regular school, so nobody really agreed with my opinions. Um, yeah, I was very much the odd one out. And I started discovering more about my own morality, my libertarianism. And I started to develop more and more um, views that were not in line with the mainstream. And it was difficult at first. I started just... Uh, using the the Socrates met method, basically. I started asking my friends questions and um, challenging their views. And that helped me to come to a better conclusion for myself and explore my own values and my views on politics. And, and then I started giving speeches, presentations in class, and so it's a step for step by step thing. And I got more and more backlash, but, and this is what helped me. People already kind of knew my character and they knew that I was honest and that I was intelligent because I had always been the one with good grades. And they always thought that Trump supporters, the right wing, all of them have to be stupid populists. So I did not fit into the picture. And as long as, and I'm assuming pretty sure that you are intelligent as well and that you have people in your life, you obviously, you said that your friends value your opinion. That's the biggest step that you can make. Um, be as vocal as you can be. Don't sacrifice your love for your friends and family. And that's really the best thing you can do. Um, and you can... Maybe you will find protests, but really protests don't change more than private conversations. That's the biggest thing. I mean that. And also supporting the people you, you look up to is a great thing as well. So thank you very much. Uh, two more super chats, I think. Thank you, Thomas B. America is now a liberal authoritarian state. Anti-communist punk rock like the Pistols and Joy Division need to make a comeback. Indeed. And isn't that, isn't that ironic? that it's a liberal authoritarian state, those are two opposites. 
liberal really has lost all its meaning. And sadly, sadly, but we will get it back. I promise you that. I can't make any promises, but I promise that I will do my best um, to get it back for all of us. Sunflow Stream, another donation. Thank you very much for the five euros. Well, I must endure the presence of a few caterpillars if I wish to become acquainted with the butterflies. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Exupéry. That's ah, oh, I love that. I love butterflies. Butterflies, for me, are a symbol of freedom. And uh, it's probably one of, one of my favorite emojis. Um, because my favorite emoji is the stupid, ugly moon emoji. Because it looks like me. Put the moon emoji next to my face. I have the same chubby cheeks. <laughs> I know it's it's horrible, but once you see it, you, you can't unsee it. I am the moon emoji. Moon emoji, life is matter. Yeah, several of you people um, commented that uh, I should probably go to bed. <laughs> Someone just posted the moon emoji. That's so un that's so rude. But yeah, that's me. I want to copyright the moon emoji. No, not the black one. The, the um the yellow one. That's me because I am yellow too. You always comment on my hands. You didn't comment on my hands this time actually. But yeah, there you go. Wow, thunderstorm. That's a nice idea. Four ninety nine dollars. Thank you very much, Naomi. I got a free idea for your merch. The F word freedom. How good is that? I'm going to keep that in mind. Thank you so much, Thunderstorm. Also, please send me an email because I, I, can, I want to credit you somehow. If there's anything I can do for you to credit you for that, I will. <laughs> and Xaratas, again, um, thank you very much. Trump, Trump mag nicht das Beste für Europa gewesen sein, aber das Beste für die USA. Und die Welt braucht starke USA. Ich befürchte Schlimmes mit beiden. Er ist das Beste für die freiheitliche Bewegung. Und wie gesagt, es geht nicht mehr um Staaten gegen Staaten, sondern es geht um Freiheit gegen Autoritarismus. Hayden. Hayden, why? Thank you so much. Thank you for the $100. I've had debates with liberal professors in the class when I was in college. Always the outspoken pro-freedom person. Sounds like me. It just seems like my reach is relegated to people I know. They come to me with questions about policy and current events, but I feel stuck in my, in my circle. So if you want to consider starting a YouTube channel, a social media presence, anything like that, you can send me an email as well. Just tell me that you're Hayden from the live stream. I will remember you for sure. And maybe I can help you out sharing your stuff. But I understand that um, in your job and with your friends, it's, it's a risky business, you know. I basically sacrificed everything. I sacrificed my future job opportunities. I have way more different opportunities now. I am incredibly privileged that I can continue doing what I'm doing. There are so many small businesses that are losing everything now because of the, the lockdown. I am extremely privileged and benefiting from this crisis in some way. So I am aware of that. Um, but yeah, when it comes to you, I know that there are huge risks involved in sharing your controversial opinion, especially when you just start out. So do whatever you feel comfortable with. Don't risk everything. And it's, I, I've said it before, it is fantastic what you are doing. The fact that you are supporting your friends and family by telling them the truth, because the truth sets you free. And for me, I was so terrified of this pandemic when it started. And the same with climate change. I was terrified. I was the panic puppet. And now that I know more about it, I have a more clear mind and it has helped me. So that's how you help people. And that's really a very admirable thing to do. Even if it's only in your small social circle. It's amazing. It is. Please do not underappreciate and underestimate yourself and the impact that you are having right now. Thank you very much, Sylvan Ford. Once again, another donation, uh, $10. And another one of those stickers, another one of those Fox stickers. I love that one with, um, it's kind of dancing. I love it anyway. 
Okay, I think um, this is how we're going to the end to end the stream. Uh, we're already uh, over one hour. This was I, I keep saying it every single time. I think uh, probably my favorite stream at this point. It gets better <laughs> every single time. I love I love doing the streams, <laughs> not for the donations. I love. You guys are kind of, you are entertaining me. I love interacting with you guys. And once again, it sounds so cheesy, so corny. Um, but yeah, to, uh, to always having been the odd one out and the ugly duckling and not important in any way whatsoever. And now being an inspiration to people. Um, yeah. Don't know what to say to that. It's, um out of my scope of comprehension, to be honest. Greet you, Naomi, 7076, Semper Fidelis Psalm 23. Gotcha there. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, your name is GMK31337. Thank you very much for the donation. And uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. <laughs> Thanks. And another one. Um, scrap tech tips. Five New Zealand dollars. Sure, mate. <laughs> Keep the fight up. We are getting a left swing here in New Zealand, and it's hard to argue the truth when everyone is set on what Yakinda says. Um, oh, I totally feel you. <laughs> left swing happening everywhere. Uh, but we will get through it because we are still a very we are still a very large community and a very I think we are we are such a tight community. Yeah, I love that. We and we do have very diverse opinions. I love that too, because we are not all the same. As libertarians, as freedom fighters, freedom appreciators, um, that is the essence of our friendship, of our relationships, is that we appreciate differing opinions. And isn't that so much better? Isn't that the real diversity is strength that we should be pushing? Hashtag diversity is strength, yes. But real diversity, not what the left is saying diversity is. That's just identity politics. Thanks for another great chat, says Pete Blunden. Uh, and thank you very much for the five Australian dollars. Okay, yes, good night to everyone now. Um, yeah, it's midnight in Germany now. So uh, vampire time uh, begins now and I should get going to fulfill my vampire duties. <laughs> and thank you, another donation from Exaratas, five euro, five euros. Wir lassen uns nicht unterkriegen. Freiheit ist der Weg und das Ziel. Gute Nacht. We're not going to let anyone bring us down. Freedom is the way and the goal. Good night. That's what he said. Just want to translate here. And Joel Joost said, enjoy the ice cream. You know me too well. Yes, I'm totally going to make ice cream after this, even though it is midnight. Midnight is my ice cream time. <laughs> so um, thank you for this amazing stream and uh, stay courageous, everyone. Another donation from, from Speak Your Mind, <laughs> 599 Australian dollars. Australian Sky News have you have your back. Yes, they do. They are amazing. I love them so much. I hope I will be able to uh, get on, Austra on Sky News Australia again for another interview. Maybe I will, I will reach out to them again. That would be amazing. Yeah, I'll try. It's usually around 2 a.m. <laughs> in Germany when I get to be on Sky News Australia, but I, I love them and I will sacrifice my sleep for them any day of the week. Not that I go to sleep anyway. Vampire duties, you know what I mean. So um, my vampire duty for tonight is making ice cream. And I, I've i said thank you so many times, but I will say it again. Uh, thank you. I'm very grateful for all of this support. And I loved the stream. So good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>